Welcome back to Unity Drive, where power, precision, and the future of military tech take flight. Today, we're exploring a machine that defines American naval air dominance, the 2026 F-A-18E F Super Hornet. It's more than just a jet, it's a symbol of air superiority, engineered to operate anywhere, anytime. Born from the legacy of the original F-A-18 Hornet, the Super Hornet evolved out of necessity. The U.S. Navy needed something tougher, faster, and more adaptable. So Boeing stepped in and built the F-A-18E, the single-seat variant, and the F-A-18F, a two-seat model. Both are engineered for strike missions, air-to-air -air combat, and most importantly, they're built for the deck of an aircraft carrier. Back in the late 1990s, when the first Super Hornets entered service, they were already a leap forward from the original Hornet. Bigger engines, extended range, larger payload, enhanced survivability. But fast forward to 2026, and what we have now is not just an upgrade, it's a completely refined version of the aircraft, fine-tuned for next-generation warfare. The 2026 model is based on the Block 3 upgrade, the most advanced configuration of the Super Hornet to date. It's smarter, stealthier, and more connected than ever before. This version is built to dominate modern electronic battle spaces, fly farther, fight longer, and communicate seamlessly with allied forces. The airframe remains sleek but muscular. At around 60 feet long with a 44-foot wingspan, it's visibly larger than the original Hornet. Its surfaces are shaped to reduce radar signature, not stealth fighter levels, but good enough to make a difference in contested airspace. Every contour has a purpose, reduced drag, improved maneuverability, better survivability. Under the hood are two General Electric F414 GA400 turbofan engines, each pumping out over 22,000 pounds of thrust. Together, they push the Super Hornet past Mach 1.6, giving it the speed to intercept, evade, or chase down any airborne threat. But it's not just about speed, this jet delivers on endurance. With new conformal fuel tanks added on the Block 3 version, the range increases by more than 100 nautical miles without sacrificing weapons load or agility. Speaking of weapons, the Super Hornet doesn't mess around. This jet can carry up to 17,750 pounds of mixed armament. That means precision-guided bombs, anti-ship missiles like the Harpoon, air-to-air -air weapons like the AIM-9X and AIM-120D AMROM, and even newer standoff missiles designed for stealthy long-range strikes. Whether it's ground attack, dogfighting, or fleet defense, the F-A-18EF can do it all. And it does it all from sea. Carrier-based operations are what set this aircraft apart from many of its contemporaries. It's built to take the punishment of a catapult launch and the brutality of an arrested landing. It's one of the few fighters on Earth that can launch from a nuclear-powered supercarrier in the middle of the ocean and be combat-ready in seconds. Foldable wings allow it to be packed tightly in carrier hangars, and its landing gear is reinforced to withstand extreme vertical shock loads. In 2026, the cockpit is a digital battlefield. Gone are the dozens of analog gauges, now replaced with a single wide area touchscreen display. Pilots can customize their view with tactical maps, sensor feeds, radar overlays, and weapon status. Think of it as a giant smart tablet, but for war. This interface drastically reduces pilot workload, especially in high-intensity combat situations. But perhaps even more important than hardware is software. With the Block 3 upgrade, the Super Hornet is now fully integrated into the U.S. Navy's next-generation data-sharing ecosystem. Using tactical targeting network technology and distributed targeting processor networked systems, the jet can receive, analyze, and transmit combat data across the fleet. That means an FA-18F flying a combat patrol can see what an E-2D Hawkeye sees or receive target coordinates from a satellite and launch a precision strike within seconds. And this capability isn't limited to U.S. forces. The Super Hornet is also exportable and in service with key U.S. allies like Australia. As more allies standardize on shared communication protocols, Super Hornets can function as key nodes in a vast global air defense network. The 2026 model also introduces a more survivable structure. New radar-absorbing materials, electronic countermeasures, and sensor jamming systems make it harder to detect and harder to shoot down. Defensive upgrades include an infrared search and track system that allows pilots to passively detect stealth targets, 
critical in a world where fifth-generation fighters like the Chinese J-20 or Russian Su-57 are becoming more common. Even when compared to newer platforms like the F-35C Lightning II, the Super Hornet holds its own. While the F-35C offers stealth and cutting-edge sensors, the Super Hornet is cheaper to operate, easier to maintain, and capable of flying more sorties per day. In fact, the two aircraft are often deployed together, the F-35 acting as the scout and sensor node, and the Super Hornet as the workhorse striker and interceptor. Against global rivals like the Rafale M, the MiG-29K, or the Chinese J-15, the Super Hornet consistently demonstrates better durability, payload versatility, and onboard tech integration. While some foreign jets have speed or maneuverability advantages on paper, the Super Hornet wins through real-world combat readiness and mission flexibility. And let's not forget its cousin, the EA-18G Growler, the electronic warfare variant based on the same airframe. Together, they form a potent combination, strike and jam. In a future where electromagnetic warfare plays a dominant role, having a fighter like the Super Hornet that can fly alongside a Growler means complete mission packages are more efficient and protected. While the U.S. Navy is preparing for its next generation aircraft under the NGAD program, the Super Hornet's journey is far from over. Thanks to its modular design and digital architecture, it will continue to receive software updates, new weapons integration, and operational refinements well into the 2030s. In fact, many of the Navy's future carrier deployments will still rely heavily on F-A-18E F-squadrons. The future battlefield will be defined by adaptability, integration, and persistence. And that's exactly where the Super Hornet shines. It can shift from fighter to bomber to recon platform in one mission cycle. It can refuel in mid-air, return to the carrier, be rearmed, and launch again, all within hours. It's not just a jet. It's an airborne toolbox built to fight and win across every domain, air, sea, and land. So whether it's patrolling the skies over the Pacific, launching strikes from the Red Sea, or flying escort in joint NATO exercises, the 2026 Super Hornet remains the frontline fighter of the U.S. Navy. And that's not changing anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video and want more deep dives into today's most advanced machines, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This is Unity Drive, where technology takes off. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.